Okay, so we're at the point where we will be waterproofing our walls. Uh, what uh, I'm gonna use for that purpose, I have this uh, fiberglass uh, mesh tape uh, that I'm gonna apply uh, in the corners, on the seams of all the boards, um, and it will be combined with a waterproofing membrane. Uh, what I am using uh, on my projects, uh, I am using Hydro Barrier, manufactured by Laticrete, and um, so so this product combined with this product gives us really excellent results. So. Uh, like I said, I'm using only this type of t tape. Uh, I'm not using drywall tape or anything like that because the drywall tape has the holes way bigger. Here you, you can hardly see any holes. This is a nice product and um, and once membrane is applied, once it's dried, it hardens, makes this really water resistant, uh, really water resistant. So. So only this tape, and let me uh, slowly move forward with the uh, installation of this product, and I will show you how this is done. Next time. So what I'm doing, I'm opening the bucket, I'm using just this couple mm, tool to apply it, and I'm going to start in this case from the corners. Um, what I'm doing, I'm pretty much squeezing this through the corner. There's a small gap between where the uh, boards meet. Sometimes this gap is bigger. In this case, it's, it's pretty tight. So this goes. So I'm squeezing as much as I can into this gap. So I'm applying the membrane first. Okay. It will go a little bit higher in a corner to overlap on top of our transition. The next the, the roll is six inches wide, so I want to make sure that, that I have good coverage on the wall because uh, the membrane also works like glue for the tape almost. Uh, we have to apply membrane first in order to actually uh, stick the tape. But pretty much, as you can see, I'm, apply I'm installing this in a corner and it kind of at this point I have the membrane, the tape, going slightly farther than the lip of the board, kind of more into the tub, so any water that eventually might get to the corner, because grout in the corners often cracks because of the natural movement of the home, uh, you might not notice the crack, but water might be getting over there when it comes uh, on cro across the, uh, the uh, tape and the membrane it will just nicely drain to this part and later eventually to the top so once the tape is in place I'm applying a little bit more of the waterproofing on top and it nicely will fill the entire tape entire corner making this really well waterproof and just so you know most of the leaks happens in the corners this is where water will start will start getting eventually first in the corners or where the top is if the top is unleveled it might eventually get out from the top Remember, I had this uh, bigger gap over here, so let me show you what I'm going to do with this issue that we end up with. Here, I'm pretty much applying membrane on the sides. Oh, God, I'm 
cutting just with the blade. With the little knife blade and this actually will nicely go like that. Okay, and now my brain. This will nicely waterproof this section, will add durability, and this is it, that's all we have to do. If you end up with a bigger gap, this is how it can be nicely fixed. So it doesn't really extend the thickness of the uh, of the wall. The wall will still remain flat here. I'm squeezing this tape through the gap. Through the gap. I'm just gonna lift it. goes like that and then on our seam necessarily have to apply the membrane on the entire wall. Uh, the goal is to uh, waterproof all the uh, transitions and also uh, screw nail holes as well as corners. This underlayment doesn't require application of this membrane and the entire walls and even if you're working with a cement board my personal opinion is that you don't really have to apply it other than the most fragile sections but if you rather make sure you did everything you could you can paint the entire walls of the surface of the cement boards door rack perma base uh, wonder board with this membrane. So you see, this is what happens. I have this nicely done. This is the corner that we've been working with. Now it got additional protection. So any water that might get over there over time will not cause any damage I'm also going to put a piece of the waterproofing where I have the notch for the screw like that of the tub so it will not get too messy okay 
right? So I'm assuming that this side of the wall is done the way it should. Now, here in this particular project, we have a window. It's a little bit different scenario when it comes to waterproofing window. Um, what I'm always going to do, I'm going to apply the membrane just a little bit so it overlaps on top of the wood over here. I still have to prepare the top part, so I'm not going to show you working with this around the window. But I'm going to show you how it's done on the bottom section for that. Top part of the window is pretty much the same situation, but uh, I'm going to show you with the bottom part of the window how I'm doing this in such situations. Okay, this one go here. So this type waterproofs and also reinforces the wall. Yeah. Let me put this real quick here. I'm using a lighter equipped membrane because it's thicker in consistency than other membrane products. Um, some other uh, products like Red Guard, for example, is one of the most popular. Will work, but application is way more challenging. Way, way more challenging. It gets all over the place when you're trying to install it.
Мартири. Да. Да не ми управи. Да е маскирас. Само. This piece goes over here, gets filled in the brain, and got another one on that side. Okay. Yeah, now we're pretty much going to repeat this process all the way around once I have the top part ready for that. Right now I'm removing any additional membrane that is not needed. And you see this is how we're progressing with waterproofing. So pretty much all the holes got filled. Corners where more war boards meet together, and this is how this corner looks like right now. We do whatever, everything we can to make it nice, to make it right. I still have this corner to do, like this gap to perform. So it's same situation as the other side, and you don't have to watch that. But same story. I will fill the space with the membrane first and then I will apply the uh, fiberglass tape that it's over here. Great, great product. And we got to the wall on the other side uh, and same, pretty much same situation with the stay strong. Same situation of filling the gap with our product. I had the notch to the shape of the tub and also here I'm gonna install it so it's covering our lip. Okay and now I'm gonna apply Membrane. This membrane is pretty easy to clean later, so don't worry if it will get on the tub or on the tile. You can scrape it off if you really have to. Installing this tape 
the way I told, I did in the corners. In the corners, the tab actually hangs farther, a little bit lower than the lip of the top. And same situation over here. Do the notch for the pipe a little bit because here we have the faucet, here we have the uh, uh, valve. So here on this wall we have some chances that actually water might get behind the tile. We have the transition nicely sealed with the silicone. And there's a lip on the top that really shouldn't, that should keep any water uh, uh, away from the, from getting behind the wall. But in this case, what I'm doing, I have this tape also put in over here. So in case anything like this happens, all water will nicely get to the drain where it's supposed to be. If you really want to, you can put additional uh, strip all the way around on the bottom that actually lips inside and then paint it with this product with a membrane either laticrete or different membrane different brand and yeah this way it's going to be very very well waterproof no reason to put any other crazy stuff and it's not really that expensive and it doesn't really take that much time so it's just great All right, so what I decided to also show you, I'm putting this uh, bottom roll. The tape actually uh, goes on the entire bottom. You see our board ends over here. Uh, it sits on the top of the lip and actually our waterproofing membrane will go about a quarter of an inch lower. What it means, any potential water any water that might get behind the towel from whatever reason and travel over there will nicely travel here. It would already travel here, but well, there's a risk that the silicone will crack over the years and it will start getting whatever. I'm doubting that this is gonna happen, but if you want to be really, really sure 100% that you did everything, this is the last thing that I would recommend to do. Have this tape actually go in lower and then nicely uh, fill with a uh, it was a phone call. So the tape later filled with a membrane. So what I'm doing, same story, I'm applying membrane a little bit about six inches above on top of the surface let me see how wide how long it's supposed to be we already did this in the corner we already did this on this outside corner you can see and you've seen that done earlier so now now this strip of tape actually goes slightly inside of the tub but doesn't really touch the bottom the top so there will be no any potential risk of moisture or water uh, getting in, in contact with that with this waterproofing with the tape so this is done I'm waterproofing this nicely And now, 
this is really, really well done. There's nothing else that you can do. So, so as you can see, this is done all the way around the tub, the six inch strip of this tape combined with a waterproofing membrane does really excellent work this is this corner with the gap that I showed you I've also used this tape with the membrane it's been filled nicely so yeah I can tell that this water area uh, taps around uh, been waterproofed so what we did on this project we got in the old tub we did the new tub so far installed the tile board and did the waterproofing and well tiles will be the next and the last step so this is it and I will keep you updated how this project goes but it will be it for waterproofing part. Uh, the top is nicely covered. Once we're ready, everything will be removed, all the plastic, all the protection, all the tapes. And it will be nice bathroom. This is guest bathroom. So stay tuned for more because there's more still to come on this video.